Have you guys been keeping up with this Titanic submarine situation? Crazy, right? Normally, I don't even discuss these trending topics, mainly because my takes rarely age well. For God's sake, I asked for a connect on my birthday, because I was convinced that this was the future of gaming. I'm certain, if I were old enough to use the internet when the North Tower was hit, I would have probably made a post saying, what are the odds they get both? With that being said, I cannot stay silent any longer. For those living under an iceberg, a bunch of billionaires tried to outdo James Cameron by cramming into what is best described as a contraption dreamt up by Ed and Eddie as yet another jawbreaker scam. Side note, did you know James Cameron found out about 9-11 after returning from his own Titanic submarine venture? The more you know. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so basically, just about every intelligence agency in the world warned the Bush administration about a certain Afghani engineer planning an attack in New York. And time after time, they just ignored it. In one instance, they literally barged into Bush's office to tell him directly about their findings. And in response, he essentially told them to f off. It really recontextualizes that one picture. You know the one. That ain't the face of someone that's shocked. That's the same look I give when my mom calls me asking if I remember to take the chicken out to defrost. But in my case, I had to do this little known thing called taking accountability. I know, that's a scary word for our government. These days, they can't even account for $220 billion. Nah, instead they stage proxy wars that kill hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians and pass laws that subsequently strip us of many of our individual civil liberties. Wait a second, subsequent, sub, Summer. God damn it, not again. I was supposed to talk about the submarine.